Hey guys, here's a big Lebrowski coming in again with another video for you to watch and waste some time before going to sleep. So it has been a while since the last time we talked about Camila Araujo, better known as the only fan sister here on the channel. I have been calling out her lies since I started this channel basically, because yes, I have nothing better to do apparently. So by now you guys probably know this woman and her brother who basically got famous for lying through their teeth, especially her brother, saying that she ruined his life by doing OnlyFans, when in reality he takes part of her TikToks to promote said OnlyFans every Every chance he gets. And just to prove my point, here are a couple of recent TikToks where this dude keeps showing that he has no dignity whatsoever and keeps appearing on her page all the time. Where's Christian? Um, he should be where I left him last. Let's see. Christian! Is it time to film? Yeah, let's go, buddy! Can you let me out a Time to film! Do people want to say hi? Hi, can you let me out? Yeah. Hey, you're really pretty. Oh, well, thank you. I know these two. Who? Oh, wait. You mean this guy? Yeah, that's him. I get that so much, bro. I, I really do. Wait, I, I honestly don't even see it with anyone. No, no, I, 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 I don't even see it. Like, this is definitely not me. That's not me. Bro, that is him, bro. Does this look like me? Does they don't like... even look alike. <laughs> we don't even look alike. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but today we are not here to trash on this guy because I already did extensively here on the channel and you can take a look at any of the videos I made on this too. Today we are here to talk exclusively about Camila because she got involved in some drama as of late and apparently she got exposed for being a huge asshole with the people that work for her. Because yes, believe it or not, apparently selling pictures of your asshole online seems to pay so well that she can afford having people working for her. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. To understand this whole situation, which to be honest it's really sad that I even know about these things in the first place. Like, what the fuck am I doing with my life? But whatever, I digress. So first, we need to introduce the most recent character that started to show up for Camila's content. What's your... Okay, wait. I'm sorry, but I need to point this out. Did anyone notice how she started the video scratching her bejeje? <laughs> like, why even include that in the video, dude? Sorry, I just need to mention that. What's your least favorite part about being my personal assistant? Like, what do you least like doing? Am I gonna get in trouble? No. I guess you're not gonna. Be I won't fire you. No. I'm probably making your bed in in the morning because it's like there's like white stuff and stuff in your bed and I gotta put like gloves on and it just makes me a little uncomfortable. Well, you do know that's how I pay your salary. That is how I pay your salary. I'm sorry you have to go through that, what but the maid it? does come once a week. It's okay. I'll I'll make your bed tomorrow. Oh, I hope so. Okay, so yeah, that was Camila's new assistant. Her name is Julia, and no, despite the way she looks, she's not 12. Because let's be honest, the fact that this woman would have a child around her would be fucking concerning. Anyway, for whatever reason, as we all know, everything that Camila has on her account is faked. And again, for whatever reason, the angle that they decided to go with this new character is that she's an innocent girl that doesn't know what is going on at Camila's house. Also, I have a question. Yeah. The men that, like, come inside and, like, knock... They like say you're, they like work for you and I just kind of let them in. Is that okay? Like I've just been letting these men in. I never know. Well, yeah, if they like knock on the door, I will say like if they're under 5'10", 5'11", like don't let them in. But the usual type that work for me are like six foot, six one, six two. So if they're like pretty tall, like just let them in. And then you shouldn't really see them leave. Like they just kind of like leave at different times because they're part of different scenes stuff so you want me to like measure them before they come in no 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 just like gauge it because i'll never like be with a short king you know Okay. Anyway, but we all know how dangerous it is to constantly being exposed to brain rat and so Julia got infected by it and started questioning herself if she should start an OnlyFans just like her boss Can I have a question? Yeah So like I see the like girls that come in here and they're very beautiful and like I see all of y'all and I love being your assistant, but, like, do you think I should do it? Have you ever seen what I do on OnlyFans? No. Okay. Let mm. me show you. <laughs> I like being your assistant. No, no. Do you think of me differently no. now? Could you do that? No. 
I'm okay. Okay. Sorry. Do you see me differently? I mean, guys, come on, the acting here, huh? This is way better than Joker 2. And after the next turn of events, I have to admit that I got quite invested in this ridiculous drama. So Julia, aka the assistant, spent too much time around all these e and this started to give her some ideas. Rank yourself based off of how much you make a month. Go ahead. Wait, so wait, what do we all do? You do so good, Pookie. You are so good. I love you. So then the forces of evil finally got to Julia and she did what we all knew she was going to do from the very beginning. I'm so confused about what's going on. Um, so basically, I hired an assistant and I had her on a podcast. She went super viral and then out of nowhere goes on social media, says that I'm treating her like shit and that she's starting in OL. And she has not spoken to me outside of social media. So you guys probably know more than me. And yeah. I'm out of the country, so I can't even do anything about this. So yeah, after thinking to herself, why am I here washing Camila's dirty panties when I can just sell pictures of my pussy online and get loaded? And well, apparently so she did. To no one's surprise, Julia started an OnlyFans. But I can't ignore the way Camila speaks to me. I notice the comments and I notice what y'all say in the comment section. It took me a while to realize all of this, but things have gotten worse since I've started gaining followers and gaining traction on social media. And honestly, I can't say I haven't thought about quitting and going on the you know what platform. Cause I see like she makes a lot of money and it's like, why can't I do it? And I'm just kind of like done making her bed cause it's kind of gross. At this point, I think I'm just gonna go behind her back and do see what it's all about so yeah like i said she has completely gone to the dark side and decided to betray camilla and sell her own actual pictures to be her own boss so after that because she was living at camilla's place she decided to rent an airbnb because apparently all the gunners that pay for her only fans made it possible for her to afford her own place well guys i live here and i don't know what i'm supposed to do she has not spoke to me so I'm waiting for her to get home tomorrow to figure out if I'm going to quit or move out. So, what am I supposed to do? Hey guys, so I've decided to get an Airbnb since I've made decent money on my new platform. She arrives in two hours, so this is the update with me. I will be in an Airbnb. I don't want to deal with it right now, so I'll see y'all later. Anyway, so Camila Araujo didn't think that her assistant's attitude was very nice, so she had a couple of meltdowns on TikTok. No, literally, like, I think people fail to understand, like, she was getting paid, like, I was paying her to do, like, her job. I wasn't yelling at her being an asshole, like, I was paying her to do her job, and there's a fine line between, like, friendship and then I'm your boss. And when I tell you to do something, I'm not telling you as a friend. I'm telling you to do it because you're getting paid to do it. I'm not gonna feel bad for paying you to do your job. So now she's trying to take my job and now she's trying to do what I'm trying to do, which is ridiculous. Like you don't even know anything about what you're doing. Like you're blindly going into it because in my opinion, it's envy, that's it. So the fact that you couldn't even confront it to my face, you have to bring it online after I made you. Cute. It's not very demure of you, babe. The fact that she's implying here that doing OnlyFans is like rocket science, like, come on, dude. The only thing you have to do is show your ass and tits on camera and wait for all the gooners to make it rain on you. I mean, get over yourself, babe. Anyway, then she had another meltdown about her assistant making content at her house. This is the craziest part. Not only is she making TikToks in my house, in my room, but selling pictures on you know what in my clothes in my room my house then julia would start acting completely deranged which i believe is like i said due to the brain rat infection that she is suffering from and for whatever reason she decided to record herself breaking in at camilla's house and stealing some of her shit. hey guys so i just arrived at camilla's house and since i've been making like so much money on 
OF, I was able to hire my own filmer to come record me taking myself out of Camilla's house. Oh, my door is open. Great. In case y'all didn't know, I stayed in the garage. Yes, I'm still thankful for it, but let's get out of here. My shirt from Target. Not hers, y'all. Not hers. Since people are saying I've been wearing her clothes, now I'm actually going to wear her clothes. This looks too cute. And I think I've seen this on TikTok. Okay, let's go. Let's go. So the other idiot saw this and of course she wasn't happy about it. Okay, so I didn't know I stayed in the garage. Yes, I'm still thankful for it, but let's get out. This video is ludicrous, deranged, preposterous, disgusting, absurd. You posted a video with a million views of you committing a crime. You committed a crime. Breaking entering and stealing. So um, if you don't want me to call the police, just call me and we can figure this out um, like a civil human being anyway after that they decided to squash the beef and they went on that lame ass podcast that camille has and they confronted each other what the went through your head for you to take this online and not just have a conversation with me like i said in my video i tried and tried to reach out to you those are not just the only texts anytime i would see you i'd be like hey can we talk okay hey can we talk hey can we talk is like hey i miss your dry cleaning i miss your dry cleaning not hey this is really important to me can we talk camilla you think the world like revolves around you my world revolves around me you live in my world if you don't want to talk to me that's fine no you'd be like you don't care honestly i did not care because i'll tell you why you text me hey picked up the dogs can we by the way can we talk what the hell is there to talk about? You know how busy my life is. Your literal payroll job is to not make my life harder, is to make it easier. And since you've gotten here, all you've done is made it harder, especially with going out on social media. After everything like I gave you. Camilla, you don't care. Okay. Hmm, why it doesn't surprise me to hear that the world revolves around her? This woman is so cringe, dude. If you had the decency to be like, hey, I'm wanting to start OF, I'd be like, okay, well, given your past and the things you have said, I'd be like, why is this coming out of nowhere? No, what it is, is living in my house, seeing my car, seeing the people I'm around, like seeing everything that I've built because of OF, you wanted that. That's the truth. You saw the money in it and you wanted it. And when you do something for money and you do social media for money, like it, you're never going to be fulfilled. That's the truth. Like the people you're talking to are very successful in OF and on social media. Like you got a platform from being my assistant and being just real and raw. And now you're going to just try and up out of the blue, start an OF. Like, it's so much deeper than that. And the people that care about you, first of all, in order to care about someone, you have to know them for a long period of time. You've known them for what? A week? Dude, this bitch is really trying to give a lesson in morals when her main thing is doing OnlyFans. You can't be fucking serious right now. The only reason why you have a platform is because you have an army of lonely 40 year olds that are paying to see your sorry ass naked on their phones while they jerk their meat. Just think about that. Think about that while you are driving your expensive cars and while you sit your ass on that expensive house. All of that is being paid by pathetic, lonely, sweaty and cringe men. Anyway, then she asked her how much money she made on OnlyFans fans so far and you better hold on to your chair because this shit is insane how much have you made since starting an of you want me to say it on here yeah if you want to say it or just show me because i know you're logged in on your phone Fifty four thousand dollars y'all are sick because she looks 12 y'all are weird where i bet it i i don't even know what to say Fifty four thousand dollars in a week you're sick, y'all are sick twisted sick 54k in a week is absolutely crazy dude and by the way what camila says is true this woman looks like she's 17 tops y'all are sick as fuck dude anyway so apparently camila decided to fire julia after all that everyone wants to know and i want to know am i fired are you fired you walked out of my house released like a whole diss video about me and like expect to like keep the job after you went in my room use my clothes and then say like, oh, you treat people like you talk to people like Are you fired? Have you seen Jaden's video? No, what about Jaden's video? Who's, who? Who? Your old employee? Okay. And this is what I'm talking about. She even reached out. She felt sorry for me, for the way you talked to me. And she made a whole video about it. 
See, I'm done. No, I'm done. Sorry. I just don't get what who the hell is Jaden and what the hell does have to, anything to do with this? Because people always have something to say, whatever. Honestly, if you want to be fired, if you want to quit, go. Bye. Okay, go do your thing. Bye. Bye your life. Hey, Sophie, same is going to happen to you, babe. A clout chaser will always be a clout chaser. And that's it. And so shortly after, Julia decided to upload a video to expose Camila for being an ass. Well, apparently. Hey guys, so I've been like so distant with like this whole like beef thing because like nobody knows my side. And obviously, like I've been trying to take it off social media. But y'all don't understand the words and the comments and the hate y'all leave me hurts. So I think it's time I shake up for myself because I found this like video like months ago. And I think y'all should watch it. No, 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 because I called yesterday and you guys said it was going to be done in three days. It can't be two weeks. I need the car. What? They just haven't shipped yet. Don't care if they haven't shipped yet. That's not my problem. You guys can't meet your deadline. That's not my problem. So fix it or you can give me another goddamn R8. Don't give a what you have to do. Figure the out. Are we getting dogs? I don't know. Give me a second. Give me a second. Two, the dogs really they're ready i don't care right now and that is how she literally talks to anyone that she thinks is below her anyway it seems that she's doing better now thanks to all the gooners that are paying her enough to afford a new place of her own completely independent of camila araujo So yeah, Chad, that was probably the lamest and fakest drama of 2024. I mean, the acting here was less than subpar. You can get better acting on a corn video, which is ironic since these two are literally doing amateur corn to pay the rent. But anyway, I won't lie. I'm ashamed of myself for sitting here recording this and uploading for y'all to see. And to be honest, if you made it this far into the video, you should be embarrassed too. So yeah, Chad, that is it for today's video. And you know the drill by now. Subscribe, like, and comment, or else you're going to have a daughter and she will do OnlyFans. I'm David Lebrowski, take care, and I'm out.